Salah to Messi in recent weeks. So just Sorry? A few, people have, a few people have likened Salah to Messi in recent weeks. Compare, compare. Mo Salah to Messi. I just want to... No, your thoughts on a that. lot of respect of Salah, a lot of respect. But uh, like I respect a lot, I help him to tell him. So try to be a boy to be compared with the other guy, please. Salah, لاعب سريع جدا يتحول بسرعة إلى الهجوم ونعرف جيدا. في المباراة الأولى في ليفربول عانينا في الشوط الأول لكننا سيطرنا على الثاني ونعتقد أن هذا سيكون سيناريو المباراة المقبلة أمامهم كذلك أعتقد أن مفتاح الفوز سيكون تفهم أن لكل كرة أهميتها وإنهاء كل هجمة لنا بارتداد سريع لأنهم فريق يتحول في لحظة إلى الهجوم بالنظر إلى أن لاعبي المقدمة لديهم يتميزون بسرعة هائلة وأي كرة ينهيها منافسهم بشكل سيء يستغلونها لا بد من بناء اللعب جيدا. فانتاستيك فانتاستيك رائع لعيب لعيب ممتاز لعيب عظيم لعيب متواضع جدا شخص متواضع شخص مسؤول يتحمل المسؤوليه مستعد انه ينفذ اي حاجه لمنتخب بلده انا ما اقدرش اطلب حاجه زياده من اللي هو بيقدمه لي. مرحبا بك مره اخرى زيدان في ابو ظبي محمد حامد Le dan las gracias y la bienvenida a Cinedin Zidane, a Emiratos Árabes Unidos. Me preguntan ahora por de un medio local, de un periódico llamado Etihad. Es una pregunta que no tiene relación con el torneo de mañana, pero aún así dice que le va a preguntar. Le preguntan por Salah, que juega en el Liverpool, ya que es muy importante para esta región. ¿Qué piensa de él? ¿Qué capacidad tiene de él? Y sobre todo, ¿cómo le ve jugando en equipos de gran nivel como el Liverpool? Yo creo que es, es un gran jugador. Eh, yo creo que lo ha demostrado en jugando en la Roma. Ahora lo están demostrando eh, con, con el Liverpool. Yo creo que es un, un jugador importante de este equipo. Eh, y cada vez... Eh, va creciendo va creciendo y, y es yo creo que todavía es joven y es uno que puede que puede dar dar más al, al fútbol pero pienso no se habla mucho de, de los jugadores pero me pregunta si es un jugador que, que, que aprecio mucho join that list at Chelsea of ones that got away a bit like Kevin De Bruyne isn't he Yeah, he is, and it's difficult. I don't think there's any. There shouldn't be too much finger pointing. I was there with Salah. He was young. It was probably an early stage in his career. Didn't work for him. He went away and did well. De Bruyne had the same situation. It's, it's very hard. Chelsea have got an abundance of talent in those positions at that time. So I'd rather focus on the player. Credit to them for going away, working hard, and coming back. What's changed then in his game from the player that you trained alongside? Personality him? and the feeling of deserving to be there. I think a huge part. He's always had these abilities. He was quick. He had the good feet. But now he comes and he feels like he's a top player. He's got a different body shape as well. He's got shoulders. He's he's more physical when he was at Chelsea. He was a baby in terms of football terms. Now he's coming into the prime years of his career. He's got that confidence of doing well at Roma. He's in a good place and he's come and started really well. And that's just you know. I think, continued. I think a big thing when you go to a, a new club is how you get your first step in the door. Are you coming to be a starter or are you coming to be a squad member? to work your way into the first team. I think at Chelsea, it was evident he was coming to work his way in. So therein is a confidence issue, maybe. And he, he seems, from what the guys have said about him, he's not one who to be out there with all the bravado. He's quite a laid-back character. He's come to Liverpool as a starter, and you're seeing the benefits in his performance. And he's sort of, he's risen to the challenge of arriving at a big club. He's been at big clubs before, but at a big club with a big price on his head as well. And he seems to have just almost accepted that, doesn't he? Yeah, but with real humility. You know, you just see it. I think his nature, from knowing him and seeing how he reacts. I like seeing players who score week in, week out. And, you know, he's not doing the interviews after the game. Maybe he's a bit shy, but I like the humility in him as well. Is he quiet? I don't really know him too well, but it seems like he's doing his football, he's talking on the pitch. Um, and I'm not sure whether he's too confident in his English right now, but um, it doesn't matter that he can forget all the interviews he wants as long as he keeps scoring. Mm -hmm. He's doing the right talking on the pitch. You know, he, there was a time where he was, we were testing and he was saying, yeah, you know, I don't score, I don't know why. I said, listen, it's just a matter of time and confidence. And when you have the confidence, everything can happen. And you can see now that uh, he's scoring goals and he's becoming a boss, a leader of his team and we saw it in, in the national team and uh, we saw it also in Liverpool in a few games. I believe he can bring a lot of um, 
um, his leadership, his experience that he's learning in, in Liverpool and uh, also what he has learned with the national team, how they qualified in front of thousands and thousands of people, of fans, you know, and uh, for him playing a lot of big competition will, will help him to, to be among the, the, the best players in Europe. And, uh, well, during the World Cup, I really believe that. International break, obviously you lost one of your key players uh, in Saudi Arabia. Salah, on the other hand, had a great time in Egypt, scored the two goals, got them through to the World Cup, and he comes back into the mix that you've mentioned with the little time that you have with the players now. What condition does he return of? What do you expect from him? Very proud. Mohamed Salah was talking about now, right? Yeah, I'm very proud. Did anybody see the, the, the six-minute video about the, the summary of the game when you saw it? I never saw a celebration like this for 1-0 after 66 minutes. I thought it's a golden goal in the World Cup final. <laughs> <laughs> then 87 minutes, they made the equalizer. Boom. Obviously not the nicest moment. And then 94 minutes, I never saw a celebration of a penalty like this and until anybody said, by the way, we still have to score. And um, I nearly had a heart attack when I thought I had to go down there and, 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 and take the situation that he, he did it. And um, I would say in this moment, he's our number one penalty taker. <laughs> he, that pressure was unbelievable. He did really well. And um, after 27 years, I think fantastic news for Egypt. Um, and that's a really good generation what they have there. So, so they should go to the World Cup. But... Oh, it always is. You first you need to be qualified. So now are they? Mais conhecidas são as as favoritas ao, ao título sempre, né? Entre elas, Brasil, Alemanha, França, Espanha, Argentina são seleções que que qualquer campeonato que, que esteja eles vão ser os destaques, né? Eu acho que de surpresa, acho que a Bélgica tem um excelente time. Essa lá vem. <laughs> Vem, vem muito bem, é um grande jogador, né? E eu acho que pode fazer diferença também na Copa do Mundo. Ask a question, Lars. Yeah. Who is your favorite player in? Salah. 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 Oh, <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. The season that he's having, nobody really saw this coming. We've no. talked, at, you know, in, in parts about him through as the season has gone on, and this is why the the company that he's in, in terms of the the Liverpool players who yeah. who've scored more, 30 or more goals in a season, and and now Mohamed Salah is, is on that list. Yeah, well, apart from you got John Aldridge and Fernando Torres, and he. You know, you, you, you're talking about doing it consistently, you know, and that's, what's, that's where he's going to be judged. Um, those, those players on that list have, have done it consistently, whether it's there or in other clubs, and that's what Mo now has to do. And when you consider the amount of goals he's got and the chances he's missed, I think that what's happened is he was going on to say, like you said there, Kels, he's closer to the goal. He's got a manager that, because he maybe missed a couple early on in the season, he stayed with him, and, you know, we've seen him score goals um, and take them so so well and we've seen him miss unbelievable chances as well but the fact is he knows now as a forward I'm going to be in this team I will play even if I miss chances I'm still going to get to play and I'll get chances to score and he's, that's what he's done. Do you think that the difference between the Mohamed Salah that we're seeing at, at Liverpool and, and the one that we saw at Chelsea Rob is that he's just getting more opportunities or is it that he's changed as a, as a player as well? Well, he was a lot younger and more immature um, and it probably lacked the, the confidence that he's got now. He had lots of chances at Chelsea uh, and he missed a lot of chances at Chelsea. He didn't, didn't score with any real frequency uh, and that was his problem because then he becomes a substitute all the time and then he's got 15 minutes to make a, an impact and maybe he gets two big chances and misses two big chances so then you go, oh, I'm not going to start with him. Uh, and I've got to say, I'll, I'm going to hold my hands up here because um, I was partly uh, in the conversation that led to him being sold because when I was, I was talking with Jose uh, and he says they won't give me any money for players mm. I've got to sell before I can buy in the, in the transfer window and I said well I can think of a couple you can get rid of mm. I said Mo Salah and Andre <laughs> Scherler <laughs> <laughs> right, and the next thing they're sold in the transfer window and so every time he scores for Liverpool my daughter's team mm. um, I sit there going Oh, oh, did I, oh no. did, he, did, I, did I really say that? Oh, well, I wish he was still at Chelsea. So. But it's good yeah. for family relations. <laughs> she loves it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, do, do you see a difference in him as a, as a player? I mean, it seems... Really, I mean, you've both mentioned it, the fact that he does miss chances, and everybody misses some chances, but he 
it, the goals that we've seen here, yeah, yeah, so they've got a but, couple. But it does seem it's just getting so many but, opportunities. Well, this is what's happened, and, and he, he, we saw in at Roma, you know, he, he had opportunities because he was playing, and they. They had faith in him and he, he stayed on the pitch. So if you miss a chance early, and back in when we played, it was a natural thing for a forward. You miss a couple because that's what you do. You let to score, of course, but you're going to miss some. But what I found that what's happened in recent times is that players are getting taken off. Forwards are getting taken off at 60 minutes. And, and, that, and, and what, you want, what you want is you want to be able to play through those times so as then you can, when defenders are tiring and chances are coming, you're able to be on the pitch to take the chances. But what's happened with Mo Salah, what obviously didn't happen with him at Chelsea, he didn't stay on the pitch long enough to, to get past these missing the, the, the chances phase because once he comes off the pitch, he said, yeah, well, he missed a couple of chances. When he went to Roma, all of a sudden he started to blast. And he's come here, missed a couple of chances, but he stayed on the pitch. And then he's, he's, now he's got his confidence and he is closer to the goal. And he's got great feet, great skill. You know, we saw it with, one of, with the last goal there when he's coming from the left. He's taking people on. He's getting the luck. He's getting the breaks as well. And he's, and he's finishing really, the, really well. The consistent thing has always been he gets in positions yeah. where he can score goals. He's, he's always been on the end of chances all the way through his career. So he got the, he's got the pace and he's got the vision to see the chance. Now he's starting to convert them. Yeah. And now he's got a manager who says... Well, I don't mind if he misses a few because mm. I know he's going to score yes. bundles because he's yes. always on the end of it. He's, his pace will get him through. He's got one-on-ones. He's going to score more yeah. than he 